Back in, then we'll go to the Thank you, Karine. John, this was a massive intelligence failure. <clears throat> Who bears responsibility for that? You know something, Jackie? There's going to come a time when it's appropriate for us to take a look back retrospectively and see what the intel picture showed us or didn't show us, uh, whether there's any gaps that need to be closed. There's going to be a time for that. And I suspect that our Israeli counterparts will do the same thing. Now's not that time. It's just speak, not that time. Can you speak to the reports that Israel was warned by Egypt? I can't. McCall from Foreign Affairs made that allegation this morning, saying that that was something that uh, members were told in on the Intel or on the Foreign Affairs Committee. So, has that been discussed at all, or is that something you're looking into? I can't speak to specific intelligence matters. Again, there will be a time to, to look back at this, as we always do, and we will. Right now, we're sharpening the intelligence gathering and cooperation and sharing with Israel, as we should, since they're involved in active operations, and we're making sure that they get the tools they need. Can you define what the direct link is when you guys talk about Iran not being involved, no direct link? What is a, What do you consider to be a direct link? So what I'm referring to there is um, any any evidence that we have that they were knowledgeable of and aware of these particular attacks. Now, of course, as Jake said yesterday, you know, it, it, that they were obviously have been broadly aware of Hamas's hostility to Israel um, and to some of the broad planning that, that uh, Hamas would do. But we haven't seen anything that tells us they knew specifically date, time, method, you know, that they were that they were witting to, to this. Um, it, we haven't seen anything that tells us they specifically cut checks to support this set of attacks, or that they were involved in the training, and that obviously this required quite a bit of training by these uh, terrorists, um, uh, or that they were involved in any directing of the operation. So again, I'll get to your, I, I promise I, I don't want you, I'm not trying to, mo mon you know, monopolize the time here, but we're, we're, it's, it's not a, you know, we're not one and done here either. We're going to continue to look at the intelligence stream and see if it leads us to a different conclusion. All I can do is be honest with you about the conclusions we're coming to today, and we just haven't seen that. So you kind of answered my follow-up, which is, oh, good. is it the position <laughs> of the administration that at this stage Iran was not involved? I guess my, my question is, how can we know that this was in the planning for over a year and within a few short days say that Iran was not behind it? Because that's what we think. Because we've, so we've been looking at it. It is the position that... You know, what, we, what we think now, again, we have not seen any evidence, specific evidence, that Iran was directly involved with these specific sets of attacks. That doesn't mean that... Yeah, I mean, look, we're going to keep looking at it. I, the book's not closed on it. We're going to keep looking at that, but uh, that's just where we are right now. All right, we're going to move on. Thank you.